The Owen James Report is brought to you by Burita, making money work for you. I'm sure you've seen many commercials about financial services and investment opportunities. The smiles, the nice business suits, the charts, the beautiful scenes, and of course, children. Caught! But real financial management means more than selling you a product or service. It's about protecting your money, your life, your future. It's about integrity. With over three decades of proven excellence, you should look no further than Burita. Making money work for you. Good evening. This is the Orange James Report, and we begin with important Caribbean business news. First Caribbean International Bank Limited, the parent company of First Caribbean Bank Jamaica, has made some major changes, particularly in the area of corporate governance. The move coincides with the decision of the American Internal Revenue Service, which turned the spotlight on First Caribbean after receiving intelligence that American tax dodgers may have been using a Caribbean bank for nearly a decade. Subject to regulatory approval, First Caribbean International has formed a new governance and controls unit to strengthen the regional bank's control environments. The Barbados-based headquarters of FCIB has appointed Donna Graham as managing director of the new governance and controls unit. In a filing with the stock exchange, FCIB says Ms. Graham will relinquish the role of chief auditor. Ms. Patricia Rowe Seal has been appointed acting chief auditor in Bridgetown, Barbados. There have been other changes in corporate lending and investment banking, as well as in retail banking. The Bank of Jamaica intervened in the foreign exchange market today to shore up the Jamaican dollar. The move resulted in a strengthening of the Jamaican dollar against the three regularly traded foreign currencies. In other words, the American and Canadian dollars as well as the British pound weakened against the Jamaican dollar. The greenback slipped to two Jamaican cents closing at $99 while the Canadian dollar declined about four cents Jamaican closing at an average selling rate of $97.96. Sterling fell by 19 Jamaican cents to close at $100. $153.78. As news continues to emerge about the impact of the National Debt Exchange on financial companies, Sagicor Life Jamaica has disclosed that it suffered one off loss of $1.1 billion in net profit, as well as an $83 million reduction in net interest income in the first quarter. Sagicor Life Jamaica swapped over $60.6 billion in government instruments uh, during this year's debt exchanges. News on the market now. The stock market indices showed modest gains today, with the main JC index gaining 5 points or one hundredth of 1%. 16 stocks traded with 8 advancing, 5 declining and 3 holding firm. Winners included Caribbean Cement, Carreras, Grace Kennedy, NCB and Supreme Ventures up 8.4%, the big winner. The losers included JMMB down 12.4%, Sagicor Investments, Sagicor Life Jamaica and Scotia Group, today's volume leader. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Burita, making money work for you.